Hello everyone, welcome back again. So before me saying anything, just look into the image of this insect. You may be wondering what's wrong with this. I have seen lot of ugly insects in my life. But to understand the depth of the problem, just for a second, imagine your house full with cockroaches. Yes, I may sound weird, but before you judge me, see this footage. For farmers, their farmlands are their house. So if anything happens to that, there is a problem. So in this today's video, we are going to talk about two main things. The first one is invasion of desert locusts in most of the countries, including India. And the second one is effect of desert locusts considering the current scenario of in India. So let's get started. Desert locusts. Let's introduce this guy. This guy belongs to the family of locusts or you can consider a family of a grasshopper. And in their family, there are around more than 10,000 insects. This guy weighs around 2 grams and its height is shorter than grasshopper. And in uh, usual uh, scenarios, uh, they mind their own business and do daily activities like any other insect. But due to sudden change in the climate and the surrounding, they start reproducing. And the reproduction happen in a such a way that a single female in a one time can lay at least 80 eggs. And from one generation to the second generation, they can multiply from 10 to 16 times. And in whole year, they could have 5 to 6 generation. So you can imagine the density and the population of these desert locusts when they become crazy. So with this huge population, obviously they are going to be disaster. So let's talk about the destruction. Coming to the destruction part, they behave like a zombie. They eat everything from non-crop plants to the crop plants. Whatever comes in front of their eyes, they eat any, any kind of plant and they travel in the swarm. And the swarm consists of 120 to 150 million desert locusts in one square kilometer of any area. You will be shocked to know that a single swarm can travel at least a distance of 150 kilometers in a day. And the more shocking part is that a swarm of one square kilometer of an area can eat up to food of 35,000 people in a day. That's right in a day. Talking about the places where they destruct, usually in their calm state they scatter to an area of 16 million square kilometer area from Sahara Desert to Middle East to the northwest of the area. But when they become crazy, they start multiplying themselves and they form swarms. This area increases to 32 million square kilometer of an area and, and it consists of 60 countries in that which is 20% of the earth area. So now let's talk about little bit history and the way to control them. This desert locust problem is not new. It's been from the centuries. And talking about the last 100 years from 1920 onwards, uh, we could see the outbreak in uh, different uh, periods. From 1926 to 1934, first time it happened. Uh, then from 1940 to 48, then from 49 to 63, then from 67 to 69, and from 87 to 89, then in 2003 and 2005 and after that this is happening now in 2019 and 20. This is because of this issue a lot of committees has been formed and a lot of conference has been taken uh, in the past. We could able to come up with insecticide that is green muscle and the green guard which slowly got vanished and currently we use using Nova Crid. And no, the main advantage of the Nova Crid is that that it doesn't kill any other insects or the crop, it only kills desert locusts. But the disadvantage of Nova Crid is that it's able to kill only 90% of the desert locusts in a period of two weeks. Yes, it doesn't kill qu quickly, it takes time. Because of that, it works only on the immature the desert locusts, not on the mature uh, desert locusts. So now let's talk about the consequences of it. Talking about in India, we saw hit on Rajasthan and the Gujarat. In Rajasthan and the Gujarat, 65,000 farmers got affected. In total, it affected 1,68,000 hectare of crop field. And Rajasthan government has given compensation of 90 crore rupees and Gujarat government has given compensation of 33 crore rupees. And the main issue over is, is that due to coronavirus, there is a shortage of food supply. And with this coming, there will be more uh, food crisis. Uh, so you can see these three states, Punjab, Rajasthan and the Gujarat. I have listed down top three producing uh, state in India. And you can able to identify uh, what's the contribution of these uh, three states in our country. So now let's discuss about the conclusion or the solution. For the solution part, we can divide into the three main points. 
the first point is the proactive way second point is the reactive way and third point is the management way so the talking about proactive way we could use the history data or the satellite images or drone technologies uh, to predict the outbreak or the to predict the basic nature of this desert locust and when it's going to come so in the reactive way you can see that nova crate insecticide takes almost uh, two weeks to kill this desert locust and it doesn't happen quickly so we can work on the research and development part and can develop some advanced chemicals or insecticide to kill this uh, desert locust third part about the management is about the governance as it involves 60 plus countries so the coordination should be very clear and that the flow of information should be clear so that each country can help each other in a right manner so i believe you learned something from this video if you find this video good please like share and subscribe thank you